Welcome to the awesome TV. The only TV show that believes in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. The only TV show that does not take out of the Bible from all the way out to the Bible. And the only TV show that believes that without holiness and righteousness, no man shall enter the kingdom of heaven. My name is Sam and this is TSM TV. For those of you that do not know me, may have never heard of me or seen my face before or even come across this channel, as we always do, I'm going to give a small introduction. So as I've said already, my name is Sam and this is TSM TV, a TV station, let me say, or a channel or a page that consists of the true gospel of Christ. So... As I always say, terms or things like prosperity preaching, you won't really, you won't hear that over here. We're not hear that over here as it is not necessary because of the times that we are in. We are in the end times. Therefore, it is important that on this page, we hammer sin. Stop sinning, stop sinning. Because there's only one thing that will prevent man from entering the kingdom of heaven and that is sin because the Bible says pursue peace of all men for holiness without no man shall enter the kingdom of heaven meaning that in order to enter heaven you have to be holy you have to be righteous therefore sin is the only thing that can prevent man from entering the kingdom of heaven so on this page sin will be hammered a lot as I said already stop sinning um, and the true message or the true doctrine of Christ, you will hear those sort of messages on here. So messages to do with end times as well. And as time goes on, more and more shows will be added to TSM TV. Hopefully, God willing, from Monday, I'm going to start with the word of the day again. But it's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be like how it was before. It will be through WhatsApp, hopefully. By the grace of God, it will be through WhatsApp as just short, short messages that you can keep with you for the day or as a word for the day. So hopefully between 5 to 10 minutes, just the scripture with small advice attached to the scripture. So as I said, as time goes on, more and more shows will be added to TSM TV. But please like this video comment on the video and mo most importantly please share the video please share the video so that everyone out there your brothers and sisters and many people out there can also hear the true message or the true gospel of Christ so today we're gonna speak <coughs> about a very important topic going to speak about a very very important topic and before I go into detail about the topic that we're going to speak about um, everything that we do here we are led by the Holy Spirit so when we read the Bible when we interpret the Bible everything is through the Holy Spirit so nothing that we do here is from our own power let me see it is not from our own power because if we were to use our own power we wouldn't be able to understand anything if i was to sit here and use my own power to speak i would not be able to speak because naturally my nature is i am not a good speaker when it comes to speaking i'm not a good speaker everybody that knows me knows that speaking I'm not a good speaker however because when it comes to um, preaching the gospel the Holy Spirit overshadows me therefore because of that it, it, it no longer becomes me speaking it's now the work of the Holy Spirit so as always I cannot predict or say how long we'll be here but hopefully it will not be for too long so today, as always, I don't even know if it's going to be a message, if it's going to be a preaching, or if it's going to be a teaching. But to be honest, now thinking about it, it's going to be more advice. 
it's going to be more advice with scriptures because as i've already said in some previous videos we are now in 2022 it is now a new year and because it is a new year we should know especially as christians that many many obstacles will come our way again and i can assure you that it is going to be much harder this year <coughs> in 2022 than it was in 2021 2020 2019 etc 2022 is a year that is going to be full of persecutions especially for christians if we look at everything that is going on in the world right now we can see that things are moving fast things are moving much 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 faster than it has in previous years many things are going on statues are being brought out um i don't want to say it just in case it gets monetized but you know things to do with the sickness that is going on right now all of these things are all signs at the end times there are many 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 other things as well that was written in the bible or bible prophecies that are slowly unveiling themselves too so all of these signs show that the end times is near it shows that the coming of christ is just around the corner and as i say in all of my videos we shall not play with our lives because the time that we are in god has given me a new extra time god could have come a very 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 long time ago but because of my sake my salvation your salvation and god having hope and trust in me and you that one day we could change he has not come because there are still saints here on this earth me and you we are still the children of god despite the fact that there are times where we sin against god and all the other things that we go through we are still children of god god still loves me and he also still loves you but what we have to understand is that one day god will come one day god will come a day will come where god has to come to this earth because it is written in the bible he will come for a second time whether we like it or not it is appointed for man to die once whether we like it or not rapture will take place whether we like it or not but my question to you is if rapture takes place today or if you die today or if god appears today where are you going where am i going because after death there is judgment it doesn't matter if you do not believe it now it doesn't matter if you think what i'm saying is a lie because i can show you and i can tell you that it is not a lie there is a day where man will die and when man dies we will stand in front of the creator and we will give account for everything that we have done on earth being good or bad the choices you make today will determine where you go in the future and i always say that if you are if you are an individual if you're a human being if you miss hell you definitely will you definitely will not miss heaven and if you miss heaven you definitely will not miss hell meaning that there's only two places you can go to and you can only go to one of them it is either heaven or hell my question to you is where are you gonna go where are you going to end up that all depends on the actions that you choose to commit today it all depends on the actions which you choose to act on today 2022 as we have entered this year many many persecutions trials tribulations will come our way if you do not believe me you can mark my words if you want you can pin or you can save this video or you can save this message but i can assure you that many many different things will happen in 2022 that will show you yourself even if you do not believe that god is coming god is around the corner many dreams and revelations are now coming it's now got to a point where even people 
that do not even believe in God, other religions, people that do not even believe in the Father, the everlasting Father, the one who created the heavens and the earth, it has now got to a point of time where God is also revealing himself to them. Muslims, God is revealing himself to them. Buddhists, God is revealing himself to them. Satanists, God is revealing himself to them. Sikhs, God is revealing himself to them. Many, many different religions, it has now got to that point of time, it has now got to that stage in the world where God is also showing them or revealing himself to them. <coughs> so we should not play with our lives. We shouldn't play with our lives because my brothers and my sisters, I can assure you that this year is not going to be easy. But if you as an individual, if you stand, if you keep the faith, fight the good fight and finish the race, there will be a crown waiting for you. An imperishable crown. A crown that no one can steal. A crown that animals cannot destroy. However, it is not going to be easy. I have not told you it is going to be easy. I have not promised you that it's going to be easy. This race or this journey that we are on, it is not easy. This road that me and you have chose to take, this path that me and you have chose to take, it is not easy. It is a hard path. It is a narrow path. Many people will come our way. Some will help us. Others will put us down. Many obstacles will come our way. Many temptations will come our way. The devil will send out demons to come and distract us. The devil himself may even come to distract us. All these things will happen. But the thing is, will you as an individual, will you stand? Will you stand through everything? And because of that, the topic for today is run like you have never run before. Run like you have never run before. That is the topic for today. And today is just going to be advice. <coughs> today is just going to be advice. Run like you've never run before. Run like you have never run before. So this running that you should do in 2022. Run as fast as you can. Let this run in 2022 outrun all the runs that you have done in the previous years 2020 2021 2019 18 17 16 etc let the running that you do in 2022 let it outrun all of them because this year is not going to be easy this year is going to be tough it is going to be hard for christians very very hard for christians but if you stand if you look forward and head forth for the prize, I can assure you that Jesus Christ will see the effort that you are putting in. And because of that, he will stand side to side with you and he will help you to finish that race. He will help you to cross that line because his word says that he will never leave nor forsake. God is not a God that if he sees you trying, he will leave you by yourself. God is a God where if he sees you trying, he sees that you are suffering. He will help you. He will give you that strength to overcome the things which are coming your way. To overcome the temptations which are coming your way. There is no temptation that comes to man or comes to Christians in which God does not provide a way out of that temptation. There is always a way to exit or come out or escape that temptation. There is always a way to overcome the temptations that come your way. This 2022 that we have entered, run like you have never run before. Whatever is holding you back, drop it. Whatever weight is pulling you down, let it go. Whatever sin is drawing you back or preventing you from running to your full potential or slowing you down or in worst case possible not even letting you run at all drop it drop it 
because this year is going to be a year of toughness. It's going to be a year of temptations. It's, got, it's going to be a year of persecutions. As a Christian, you should look forward to this. As a Christian, you should know and see that this is going to happen. It is not something you will escape. It is not something you can escape. You cannot escape the persecutions that are coming within this world. You can't escape it. You have to endure it. But if you endure it and you stand until the end, there will be a great prize waiting for you. There are so many people in the Bible that stood their ground, that kept the faith, that fought a good fight, and in the end they finished the race. Paul is a prime example. Stephen is a prime example. Peter, prime example. James, prime example. John, prime example. All these disciples, all these people that followed Christ, they all are prime examples. Or let me say, or let me rephrase that. All the people that followed Christ genuinely are all prime examples. They all had long suffering. They were all enduring. They were able to endure things. Hence the reason as to why even when they would get put into prison, they would not cry. They would rejoice that they had been put into prison. Even when a sword or a knife was at their head, they would not cry. They would rejoice that that knife or that sword was on their head even if it came to being burnt alive they were happy to be burnt alive even if it came to where people would have to uh, peel their skins off they were happy for people to peel their skins off if it came to a point where they were also to be crucified like Jesus Christ the Savior was also crucified they were happy to be crucified why? This is because they were not looking at what was happening to them at that moment of time. They were already ahead of time. They were looking at what was yet to come. They were looking at what was going to happen after they had went through that torture that they were going through at that point of time. That's what they were looking towards. That's what gave them that motivation. That's what gave them that hope, that urge to carry on, that urge to not give up. That is what gave them that urge to not give up. And today, as me and you are Christians, I pray that God also grants me and you the same spirit, the same strength and courage and boldness and fearlessness that he granted the disciples to stand or to go through everything that they went through. That he also grants me and you that same spirit because it is not going to be easy isn't going to be easy but I can assure you it will be worth it <coughs> if you stand run like you've never run before run like you have never run before do not let anyone pull you back do not let anyone hold you back continue to press forth for the prize the prize is ahead of you. The prize is not behind you. The prize is never behind you. The reward or the prize is always ahead of you. Apostle Paul even spoke about this in 1 Corinthians. I think chapter 9 from the verse 24 coming. We will read that scripture today. And that is the only scripture that we will use. Because this is advice. I want you to take in the things that I'm saying because I can assure you that every Christian even if you do not hear everything that there may be one thing that you will hear that will stick with you that could help you you can take that one thing and you can hold on to that one thing and that may push or motivate you to strive it is not going to be easy run like you have never run before the kingdom of heaven suffers violence the kingdom of god suffers violence and the violent shall take it by force you cannot go into heaven gently you cannot go into heaven all majestically 
and so slowly you can't go to heaven like that you have to be vicious you have to be violent you have to be rough you have to strive you have to force your way in there because the road is narrow you have to squeeze yourself you have to squeeze yourself because the road is narrow I mean it is not easy and because it is not easy there are hardly any people on that road being the narrow road but the broad way which is broad there is space for you to walk around you don't even need to run you don't even need to run you can take space as much space as you want there is still so much space left why because it is broad there is freedom you can do what you want to do do as you please do as you will but you will still walk forward you will still walk forward but your prayers will be held i know for a fact that as a christian you do not want to go to hell i know for a fact that as a christian everything that you have done all the suffering and persecutions that you have been through on earth all the temptations that you managed to overcome all the problems financially physically emotionally that you were in that was affecting you through all of that you still kept your faith in christ yet because of one small sin you end up in hell i know for a fact that every single christian does not want to be, they don't want that to be them i don't know a christian who says they are a christian yet their ambition or their goal is to go to hell I don't know a Christian that would say that, not one, because every single Christian that I know, they all want to go to heaven, they all want to go to heaven, but how many of you are actually doing the things in which you need to do to actually enter the kingdom of heaven? It is very easy to say, I am going to heaven or I want to go to heaven, but actually acting on it acting on the things that you need to do to actually enter those gates that is where the problem is because that is not easy but with christ and with the help of the holy spirit it can and it shall and it will become easy that is all or all, it all depends on if you as an individual are willing to go through what it takes to enter the kingdom of heaven going to heaven is not bread and butter Jesus was a prime example of this. It is not bread and butter. You will be beaten. You will be stripped. You will be mocked. You will, you will be embarrassed. You will be persecuted. You will be bullied. And so much more. That's not even a quarter of what I said. Or of what will happen. Or what Christians will go through. But this is the reality of when you become a Christian. When you become a Christian, the reality is you now become an enemy to the world. Meaning the people of the world now start to despise you. They don't see you as your old being anymore. They see you as a follower of Christ and they despise Christ. Hence the reason as to why they are part of the world. My brothers and my sisters, run like you have never run before. Because what is coming in 2022 is not going to be easy. It isn't going to be easy. I'm going to read just one scripture. Keep this scripture with you at all times. Because this scripture is very motivational. <coughs> First Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 to 27 and I read do you not know that those who run in a race all run but one receives the prize run in such a way that you may obtain it and everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things now they do it to obtain a perishable crown but we for an imperishable crown therefore I run thus not with uncertainty, thus I fight, not as one who beats the air. 
but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. So even though I'm speaking to you, this also goes for me. This also goes for me. So we'll break this down and we'll see where the Holy Spirit leads us. Because as I said, this is not a message, this is more advice. But to be fair, it can also be a message. So the 24 says, Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? So physically, a race consists of many, many different people. And the goal of that race is to win. Let me say a 100 meter race. The goal of the race is to win. So run as fast as you can so that you can reach that finish line first. <coughs> For the prize, being the gold medal or the gold trophy, there's only one. Nobody pulls up to a race or comes to a race saying to themselves, today I'm going to try and be second. Or today I'm going to try and be third. Or I'm going to try and be fourth. Wrong. Everyone that goes to a race, they train hard. They train hard so that they can be the best. So that they also have a chance of becoming first. <coughs> Why do they do this? They do this because there is only one gold trophy. There is only one gold medal. There are not two. How does this link to the lives of Christians, to the lives of me and you? This links because in everything that we do, when it comes to the kingdom of heaven, we need to drop everything behind. We need to train ourselves. We need to do the things in which God wants us to do so that we can enter his kingdom, so that we can be first, not last. So for that reason, Run in such a way that you may obtain it. So do what you have to do in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. Run this race in a way where you also obtain that prize, being heaven. Runners, when they run, everyone has their own technique. Some run like this, others run like this, some run like this. However way you run, there is no way for you to run. The point is just run. However you feel comfortable, run in that way, in, in the chance or in the way in which you feel you will become first. It's the same with this run, running or this race that me and you are racing. Run in a way in where you will become first, not where you have a chance of becoming first, in where you will become first. Because when it comes to heaven, there is no... I might go heaven, I might not go heaven, so uh, you know, I'll just carry on doing the things that I'm doing anyways. Wrong. That's the wrong mentality for a Christian. For every single Christian, you should have that mentality that no matter what comes my way, I will go to heaven. No matter what it takes, I will and I shall enter the kingdom of heaven. And if you have that mentality, God sees that. He will help you. God will not leave you nor forsake you. He will not leave you in the blue. He will not leave you in the middle of nowhere. He will always be there with you until the end. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown. So these runners in the physical realm, physically, these runners, let me say these sprinters, when they train, they only train for a period of time. And why do they do this? They train for a period of time so that they can receive the medal or the trophy. But there's something about this trophy or this medal, this gold trophy or gold medal that they are training to try and gain. That this gold trophy or this gold medal, it is perishable. Meaning that it can be destroyed it can be destroyed it can be stolen it can break etc it is perishable a time will come where it will be wiped away from the face of the earth <coughs> but we 
for an imperishable crown. A crown that will never be destroyed. A crown that cannot be robbed. A crown that will, cannot be wiped away from the face of the earth. An imperishable crown. That is the crown that me and you are running this race for. To try everything with our power and with the power of God and the Holy Spirit to also receive this imperishable crown. Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty. Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air. So with this running, do not run confused. Know your destination. Know your goal. Know where the finish line is. Do not run with two minds. Because even a runner, if they run with two minds, they become confused. They become confused and because of that confusion, they slow down. Or if worse comes to worse, they stop running because they do not want know what to do anymore. Do not run confused. Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air. So with this fighting, don't fight as if you're, 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 you're punching the air. That is not the kind of fight that this is. This is not a fight where you're punching the air. That is not the fight. But, <coughs> I discipline my body and bring it into subjection. So this is Apostle Paul speaking. He disciplined or disciplined his body and he brought it into subjection. So in other words, his body became his slave. He controlled the body. He told the body what to do. The lust of the flesh or the flesh did not tell him what to do. He controlled the body. He put the body into subjection. So the body listened to him. So if he said, if the body was saying, go and steal, Apostle Paul would say, no, you will not steal. I put you into subjection because you are under me. That is what Christians need to start doing. We also need to start disciplining ourselves and putting our bodies into subjection. We shouldn't fall into the traps of the lust of the flesh. We should rebuke that and we should discipline ourselves and put our bodies into subjection. We should show this flesh that we rule over it, not the flesh rules over us. Lest when, I, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. So even me, that is speaking this message now, or saying this advice, I also need to take what I am saying. Otherwise, I will help others go to heaven. But then me, myself, I miss heaven. And God forbid, God forbid, the same for every single preacher that is out there that is also helping and drawing souls to the kingdom of heaven so my brothers and sisters this was the topic for today run like you have never run before this is 2022 let us not do the same slow running or maybe in 2021, 2020, maybe we were running fast. But now we have entered 2022, we have entered this new year, which is going to be filled with many, many new things. It is now a time for us to go levels above the speed we were running at previously. We now need to run like we have never run before. <coughs> because I do not know when I'm going to die. You do not know when you're going to die. I don't know when rapture will take place. You do not also know when rapture will take place. Therefore, let us live a life which is holy and acceptable to God. And let us run like we have never run before. Please like this video, comment on the video, and also share the video to your brothers and to your sisters, to your family and to your friends out there. So that the people that do not hear this kind of message 
will also get the chance to hear the message. This was TSM TV and this was Sam speaking. Stay blessed.